and we are live to finish this rebatch soap. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so ready to be finished with this. This We had this going like at, what, noon today? And it's almost five o'clock, so yeah. <laughs> I come in here, I keep stirring it and stirring it, and I have added almost this whole can of coconut milk. So, we'll see. <laughs> like I said, I've never, I've never done it this way before. It's called rebatching. So, let me plug in my mixer. Now, this is the, uh, so if you missed us earlier, you can go back and watch. This is the soap shavings of all of our soaps. So it has everything in here. Our soap with goat's milk, honey, uh, shea butter, avocado oil. It's like the best of everything is in this pot <laughs> that has been cooking all afternoon. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm gonna try, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try to color it because it looks like mud right now. And I'm gonna whip it up so it'll incorporate a little bit of air. And it'll also help mix the color. So I was trying to decide between going with a red or pink or a bluish purple. I think I might come out with a more pleasing result if I go red. If I go purple, I think it might just look like, I don't know, purple and brown might not look so good, but the pink and the brown might come out like a dusty rose. We'll see. This is uh, three pounds of soap shavings. So I'll just do a teaspoon at first and see what we get. Oh good, you can see inside. Okay, it's gonna be loud for a minute. Oh my goodness. more pink. Okay, let's do one more teaspoon. And this is a mica color, so it's like what they make cosmetics from. So, I could just put pink eyeshadow in it. I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance, because that'll give me a little more liquid. It's kind of dry, but like I said, this is a 13 and a half ounce can, and it probably has two ounces left in it. The fragrance we're using is birthday cake. It smells like wedding cake <laughs> and coconut. <laughs> With this coconut milk. Okay, let's see if we can come up with something pretty. Better. like a dusty rose. Okay, I think I am going to put one more scoop of, um, oh wow. Yeah, there, can you tell? <laughs> Let's go one more scoop and see if I can get it a little more pink. if I'll do this every time. You know, I told you I was just tossing my shavings. <laughs> Might not have been such a bad idea after all. Okay, but waste not, what not. Let's see. I'm gonna go higher. I'm gonna 
whipping enough so that it'll have enough air in it to float. Because honestly, I just don't think I'm strong enough to do that. But it is that like a, a rose color. It does have a tad bit of flake in it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this in the mold, what it's even going to look like. Oh my goodness. Clumpy. I'm somebody who makes cold processed soap. This is, wow. Okay, well, it'll clean you. And it won't dry your skin out. Remember, that's the greatest benefit of cold processed soap, or any, hand, it can be hot processed, any handmade soap. And people that make handmade soap, you put a lot of, um, you know, a lot of them goes into it. So they want to make a good product. I love buying things uh, handmade. You know, decorations in my house, I don't really want everything in my house to look like it came from Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. I like um, local artists that have done like some wood carvings or clay, uh, some clay pots. I have a clay rose that's real pretty. It was handmade. I just, I like it. It's unique. <laughs> okay. I think it's a bit dry. I probably could have put that whole can of uh, coconut milk in here. Yep. It's, it's a bit dry. I kept adding it and adding <laughs> water all afternoon. But it works. It did melt. Hi, good evening, Christina. I'm glad you found us. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> ah. Okay. It's not smooth. And this pot is going to be a booger bear to <laughs> to, to wash, but it'll be clean. Okay. Make sure I get it all, like no holes in it. I can smell the birthday cake. And uh, remember I told you that that color also will kind of turn a little pinkish purple. So this may not be the end color we come up with after that fragrance has set in there for a while. Now hot process soap can be used right away because you don't have to wait for the lye to, to harden all the oils. These are hard and this is hard already. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for keeping up with me today. There, three pounds of no waste rebatch soap shavings that smell like cake. <laughs> and it, it looks pretty. I like the color. There. It's going to look rugged when I cut it. And I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, six. I might be able to get seven bars, maybe six or seven bars out of this. Hi, Donna. Thanks for hopping on. Um, there. <laughs> uh, so a little, <laughs> thank you for your comments. I think what I'll do with this, um, basically, you know, these are the, the scraps that I would have thrown away. So it's just not right to try to put a price on it. But um, when this is ready, which I'll cut it, um, I'll let it sit in the, the loaf all night. I'll cut it tomorrow. So, um, 
and it might be kind of soft after that. I'll let it sit, maybe I'll let it sit this weekend just so it'll, it'll firm up a little bit. And uh, I'll tell you when it's ready. And when it's ready, the first, however many bars I get out of this, um, six or seven people that place an order, I'll just throw this bar in there um, just for the fun of it. <laughs> so, and then you tell me what you think. But rebatch, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. But every 15 minutes I was coming back in here, stirring it, stirring it. I'm like, oh, it's too dry. So I added more milk and anyway, I think we have a good product. So I will let you know when it's ready and show you the cut of that. And uh, yeah, then they'll just be giveaways. So thank you guys for hopping on again this afternoon. I hope you had a wonderful day. It was so pretty outside. So have a nice evening now. <laughs> and so if you're so happy. <laughs> Elisa says she would love to have a bar. Okay, I'll save a bar for you. <laughs> if anybody else is watching, if you want a bar, let me know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.